she's a vegetarian. D do vegetarians eat meat? I mean, I, I didn't think it did. Clearly she does. She's a secret meat eater. Well, not that secret. I hope you really like this one. This is for you. Enjoy, please tuck in. Ben, tell me, mm. what do you think? To the fritters. <laughs> oh, to the fritters. To the fritters. <laughs> Cheers. The fritters. They are divine, aren't mm. they? For me, parsnips are something I don't ever eat. Mm -hmm. But I might have been converted tonight. For me, the best starch of the week so far is 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 a tight one between Saleya and um, Linda. Which one did you enjoy the most? Um, which one did I enjoy the most? Oh, uh, yeah, it was a tough question. Um, Oh, I can't start. Debs! I thought Saleya's starter was the best that I've had so far this week. That's how you do it, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, darling, what do you think of that starter? Well, the problem is I adore parsnips. <laughs> um, and I don't think the parsnip flavour comes through in these as much as I would like. So, actually, I'm suffering from a little bit of parsnip disappointment. Oh. <laughs> how parsnippy does she want it? Parsnip, is parsnippy a word? It is now. For me, that fritter was parsnippy enough. And it's catching! The starter just wasn't parsnippy enough for me. You wanted more parsnippiness. I wanted much more parsnippiness. Well, you're only human. I'm very excited. The starter went really, really well. I've got four clean plates. Yes, completely parsnipless. Is the halloumi grated in or, or did you chop? How did, cause it's not sort of big chunks of it, is it? It was all grated, right. coarsely grated and mixed all together with salad onions, with some seasoning, mm. with a little bit of chilli flakes. Mm. So there was a lot of thought to it. Mm. Ben asking a question about how I made the halloumi shows that he's a bit of a foodie and uh, possibly competition for me. I think the way Ben fits into the group uh, is very much of a foodie wannabe. So what do you do for a job then, Ben? I'm a drama teacher. Drama teacher? Absolutely. Oh, OK. That makes sense, doesn't it? I can see you controlling Ooh. those mm. students. Are you the boss or are they? I bet they're the boss. I'm, I'm not a sort of overly strict, overly firm teacher. I get the impression when I find as a drama teacher that the students rule him. He's a soft touch. Ben is soft, but then you have to be very careful with soft people. They're soft, but then they can be very, you know, in charge. OK, then. Back at the table and everyone's doing impressions of each other. Oh, darling, this, uh, this food, uh, it's uh, had some great texture to it tonight. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Mmm, mm, this wine is delicious. Mmm, <laughs> mm, it's so good. You are so good, darling. Mmm, thank you. I think Simon got Ben pretty much spot on, a foodie person. Mm. Right, everyone, and here we are. Great, I'm Simon and I'm in charge. <laughs> Let's just do it, man. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Deb's being Simon, again, I think, just showed what we all think of Simon, which is basically loud and out there. So, darling, tell me all about yourself. <laughs> Who's that? This should be so easy because as long as I do anything in a French accent, I can sound a little bit like Saleya. <laughs> but come outside and let me show you my big four-wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> she did very well, except for the accent. It was a little bit too German. I bet Ben can do a better Saleya. Come on then, Ben. Crack on, Philip. So, I hope you all have enjoyed my fritters. Well, I've lost mm. that bet. With the starter done, it's onto the main. Saleya melts cheese onto her stuffed aubergine and it's out with the meat for the steak tartare. Saleya has put on a, a really brilliant starter this evening, so if her main is as good as a starter, she might be on for sort of the best two courses of the week. The meat is chopped into tiny pieces. It's seasoned and shaped on the plate. How are we feeling? With my main course, the only thing I'm slightly concerned about is possibly the reaction um, towards the steak tartare. Risky? Very risky. Sacre bleu! Hold on, you made five portions. I thought you were vegetarian. I am vegetarian only because of the taste of the meat, which I don't like. However, I have never had tartare, steak tartare, so I will be joining my guest. It would be way too rude not to. The rest is plated up and stuffed aubergine with a side of steak tartare is served, including one for Saleya. Oh, thank you, Saleya. Daddy. I don't think it is. No. That's wrong. I was 
slightly scared, actually. Um, raw meat and raw egg. Pfft. Not my thing. And you've served yourself a steak tartare. Everybody must try everything at least once in their life. I shall oh as well. My God. Oh, okay. I applaud you That's for that. That's brilliant. I'm so excited. I want to watch you take your first bite. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> yeah. You are the strangest mm. vegetarian I've ever met. Uh, so Soleil um, was really brave with the main. I mean, a vegetarian bringing out steak tartare and then also eating it. She's a vegetarian. Do vegetarians eat meat? I mean, I, I didn't think it did. Clearly she does. She's a secret meat eater. Well, not that secret. How is it, Linda? That's delicious. For me, I would actually like a little bit more salt in mine, but I have a kind of yes. salty palate. The potatoes were good, they were tasty. The aubergine was great, really tasty. And I didn't really like the steak tartare. I'm going to give it a go. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to okay. give it a go. Just whack it on there like that. Yes. Did you like it? I mean, it's not my kind of thing, um, but fair play for kind of doing something different. I'm just a little bit surprised with the uh, steak tartare, only because I think you did mention you like your steak quite blue. I do like it rare, yes. not uh, not not cooked. <laughs> my steak on Monday was quite blue. So what you didn't like the steak on Monday? I did like the steak on Monday. No, but the um, the steak on Monday had similarities with the steak this evening. Like the inside was was a, a similar uh, taste and consistency. But I think the steak on Monday was cooked. A bit. So I'm seeing a different side to Ben right now. Like he's he's like picked me tonight a little bit, um, talking about my steak. Um, but at least my steak was kind of like cooked on the outside. Um, I just want to eat like raw mincemeat, really. Luckily, no one's noticed you left the aubergine as well. I can't help noticing that you haven't touched the aubergine. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, I'm not a big fan of aubergine. Mm -hmm. really. How does it make you feel then that you've not tried your aubergine? Whereas Soleil, who's a, clearly a vegetarian, was prepared to try her steak tartare with us. Um, I've eaten aubergine before. I don't really like okay. it. Okay. Simon let himself down over the main course. He didn't try the aubergine, and I think he should have, just out of courtesy. I think Simon is actually showing that he's perhaps not quite as sophisticated in terms of palate as some of the other people around the table. You look like an aubergine tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying? No, the colour. <laughs> Linda, I mean, you, you are like... very safe. He hasn't Hello. touched the aubergine. Yeah. Okay. Hello, my oh. name is my name is Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Do not play with it. Sorry. Oh, oh. Sorry. You've been told. I have been told. No, you don't eat it. Do not play with it. Sorry. <laughs>